When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So today me and Liam have taken a day off from the camper van conversion and what we're doing is we're going to go for a walk today because we really need it. Uh, we need the exercise. So we've decided to go on a walk. Um, it's a trail called the Seven Sisters and it's along the White Cliffs down, it's near Brighton. Um, it's right next to where we live so we're so lucky to have such a gorgeous walk so close by to where we live um, so we're gonna do that today and we're not actually doing the whole trail we're gonna do half the trail because halfway there is a cafe where we think they may have some vegan options and so we're gonna walk halfway there and halfway back so we are actually doing the same distance but we're just not doing the whole trail um, anyway yeah so it will be really lovely because it's such a nice day today and uh, and the wind stopped blowing so hopefully it's going to be nice and calm as you can see the start of the trail is completely flat and it's surrounded by this lovely kind of estuary going out to the sea this is Cookmere, if you ever want to come. This bit where we where we always park up is Cookmere. We live just over there, but there's a big estuary that you have to walk around. It's like a probably a three mile walk, just to walk up from the estuary and down again. But if you park at Cookmere there in Friston Forest, then you walk along this flat bit for now. All of this behind us is the South Downs. So what we do is we sort of walk right to the beach and then we go up onto the downs and then you're literally walking on the edge of the cliffs all the way. But this alone is like an area of natural beauty, I think, and it is absolutely stunning. Wildlife everywhere, really good for paddle boarding. Uh, and it goes, this, this river here, the Cookmere River, goes right out to sea, so beautiful. The hike we are going on today takes us east at this sign. You can go straight ahead if you like to a beautiful beach, but our journey will take us almost 10 miles round trip along the cliffs, also known as the Seven Sisters. We have picked a really nice day for hiking today, which was by complete fluke, as all we really wanted was some good exercise. So I always find the first bit of this trail is the most difficult because it's just, it goes from like sea level all the way up and it's just straight up for ages. So yeah, that it doesn't really get much better, but this is definitely the worst. Okay, so we made it to the top of the first sister and the views are so nice here. Um, those are the other six sisters. Safety 101 when walking on cliffs. These cliffs do drop, they do fall, and people do die on these cliffs. It does happen. Seaford, which is just over there, had one of the largest cliff dumps that they've had in ages just two days ago. And um, it's, really, it's really dangerous. And when you come up here in the summer when there's no lockdown and stuff, there's a lot of um, tourists here. There's a lot of people having picnics on the edge, and it's really bad. Uh, I, I don't mind taking risks, but the summer risks are just stupid. And that one's a stupid one, so if you come here to the Super Sisters, don't go on the edge because you can fall off easily. Okay, so we've done more than half of it now. We can see where we're heading towards and it's really, really beautiful day. The sea's all turquoise and mottled. It's so calm. We've done this walk so many times where it's been really windy, slightly dangerous and all the rest of it. But today it's beautiful. But one thing, the reason why it's so good this, is because you can't, even if you're out for a gentle stroll and you do this, 
your fitness will go through the roof because it is so, some of it is so, so, so steep. And that's what we came here for today, to blow the cobwebs out, Asian hey, Yeah, 100%. But it's really nice to come here. We met some really nice people who, um, who are doing a 26 miler today. <laughs> and they're in, the, they're in their 60s and uh, of different abilities and stuff. And they're going for it, really going for it. And such lovely people. And we are just chatting to them about um, uh, Everest Base Camp. She's doing Everest Base Camp this year. And we, Janine and I have been to Everest Base Camp a few years ago. Uh, hiked that one and we're just talking about how <laughs> how super dodgy it is and how brilliant it is but how sort of it really isn't for the faint-hearted it's a very 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 um, sort of difficult trek and but it's brilliant all right janine this is the steepest of the sisters oh, they're quite difficult actually aren't they, they no they yeah challenging is the word i mean you're going when you're going down it's steep going down so your legs get wobbly when you're going up it's steep going up so you can see along the floor some cracks because it's made of chalk, that's where the cracks are, and that whole chunk one day will just go That's why you should always keep your distance from the edge, it's so dangerous. We were so pleased to spot our lunch and halfway destination up ahead. You know, this is the point of the trip when we start thinking about food. <laughs> um, and we're going to show you everything that they have to offer for vegans. And uh, let's hope, fingers crossed, we've got, some, we've got some good stuff going on today. So hungry. That's super disappointing. This place has been open during lockdowns and all of that, so you can get takeaway coffees and cakes and stuff, and today it's closed. So disappointing. Oh man, and we're I'm hungry. so hungry. Absolutely gutted, and literally all we've got to eat today is. Let me just get it out of my pocket. <laughs> we've got one of these each, and we've got to walk back. <laughs> Good job you brought a bit of malt loaf with you, eh? Mm. Otherwise, we'd be well screwed. The bitter sweetness about the cafe not being open is that there weren't that many tourists around and we got to sit and chill for a while on the beautiful Berlingat beach. It's bad isn't it because when you think that you're, you're going to get some food and a coffee and you don't get it, it's like proper so disheartening yeah but so gutting and now we've got to walk over all of those cli cliffs to get back but it's exercise my legs are already wobbly i'll make some food when we get back will you yeah oh, be good. Hey Janine, are you looking forward to going back? Yeah. Is somebody hungry and tired? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired and we're only halfway back um, to the car, so to the van. But we've, so. burnt, we've burnt a few calories, haven't we? Yeah. We've done 15,000 steps so far today. Have we? Yeah. Oh, no wonder I'm so hungry and tired. <laughs> <laughs> the final stretch and it's the leg, the leg wobbly time. Is it easy? It's not easy. Medium? I'd say it's medium going on to hard. Yeah. But I'd say medium because it's not like, you know, it's not like Snowdon or something where you're walking straight up all day. Janine, we're on the flat again. I know. How relieved are you? Uh, my legs are like jelly now. So we've just walked all the way back to the car park where we started out and we've just noticed that there was a cafe or there is a cafe here we've just seen the sign they sell hot drinks cokes scones they're probably not going to be vegan baked sandwiches and coffee so we're just going to have a look and see if they've got any vegan stuff so fingers crossed Do you have 
have any vegan things to eat. Uh, So they can make hummus ciabatta with veg. Roasted veg and hummus? Yeah. What do you reckon? We can have one to share. Do you want to share one? Yeah. 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 If, you can cut, if you can get one and cut it in half, that'd be amazing. Save us fighting over it. <laughs> Thank you. That's all we're after. It's not too much to ask for, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice coffee, actually. It is, yeah. You can taste the coffee in it, which is brilliant. <laughs> Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. much. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. It's nice. Show us inside it then. And we have a hummus and salad ciabatta. And being vegan, you've never had hummus before. <laughs> it's my favourite <laughs> ingredient. So. Yeah, we shouldn't take the piss. It's, it's a. There you go. That looks nice. Yeah, it does look nice. I'm going to eat it really quickly though. It's Mm. Yeah, it's quite small, isn't it? Mm. How much did that cost? I don't know. It was twelve pounds for over six quid for the sandwich. Yeah, it's quite small. Mmm. Nice bread, though. Mmm. Really good. Okay, I did think that was quite um, expensive before I ate it, but that was. So such a good sandwich. It was definitely worth every penny. Okay, cool, so the sun is going down. We're gonna drive back home, pick up a bottle of wine, and um, and then sort of, sort of chill. Um, but we'll pick up the camera again tomorrow um, where we've got some really interesting things happening. Uh, we're gonna be baking something. <laughs> we're gonna be baking something we've never baked before. I don't think many people have. Um, and we have got a new drone that we need to go and learn how to use because we have got no idea. So, um, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday and we're out um, going for a walk. In the opposite direction to yesterday. In the opposite direction and we're going to go for a coffee. And we've also got a drone today, so we're going to test that out. Um, and hopefully, we're right by the sea. Hopefully, it doesn't end up there because <laughs> it's our first time, isn't it? It's first our time. first time and we've got no idea. I've never used one before. So this is going to be interesting. But hopefully as well, we're going to be able to do it where there's actually, yesterday we had a real disappointment with finding coffee and food. Yeah. There's a little truck down here that's appear, appeared on our cliffs. Um, and they, they are sort of open during lockdown. And you don't, not, although they're not allowed to provide seating, there's places to sit around it. So we're going to take the drone there. Coffee. Last time we went, they had a Biscoff flapjack. Yeah, They've got that so today. Nice. It'll be absolutely amazing. We're going to show you this Biscoff flapjack. It's awesome. <laughs> This little van sort of coffee shop that we're going to is um, it's like along this road I'll show you it in a sec um, over facing the sea and it's really lovely because she's parked into her friend's driveway so her friends actually letting her do it and um, otherwise she wouldn't be able to be down here I don't think um, and it's right in the main sort of gateway to where you can walk down the steps to the to the beach. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in this century? Or will I be I have a Americano and a flat white with oat milk. Thank you. Do you have the Visco uh flapjack today? Here in Latvian. Are all of these vegan? This one isn't. That one is a millionaire one. That's not vegan, but the rest of them are. Yeah. Really, really good. Flapjacks here are amazing. Some people that put their faith into someone who's half their age, reading from a torn-out page from a book filled with lies. But I don't know what to do. Thanks so much. See ya. Have a good one. See ya. Drones. I waste them when it all ends, but I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are living in? Well, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. How could I know what lies ahead of me? Am I part of? 
How's the uh, flapjack, Liam? It's going really well, but I just took a bite <laughs> and the Lotus biscuit, off biscuit jumped off it and into the water, <laughs> into the sea. Oh, Hello. you're Aww. friendly, aren't you? Okay, so we've had a really nice coffee, a really nice flapjack, Biscoff flapjack. Um, we couldn't get the drone working. Not yet. Not yet. Um, so we're going to go home and we're going to make something that we haven't made before. In fact, we've only just found out about it uh, recently. So we're going to go home and make that and hopefully, fingers crossed, get the drone working. Bread made out of overnight oats. Okay, today we're gonna to make something really, really interesting. I've uh, never seen it before. It's overnight oats uh, bread. Uh, it's organic, it's gluten-free, and it's vegan. I don't know who is marketed out really, it's just something different, I guess. Maybe the gluten uh, people who've got gluten intolerance. Uh, so I'm gonna make this up. Uh, you get to watch it now and see how it turns out, and yeah, let's give it a go. The overnight oats bread mix was so easy to make and we brought it from a health food store in Brighton. All you have to do is add 360 millilitres of water to 680 grams of a mix of oats and milled seeds. You then leave it to stand for a bit, then mould it into a loaf shape before putting it in the oven on 200 degrees Celsius or gas mark 6 for about an hour. When it's ready, leave to cool, slice it up and eat it with a slathering of vegan butter. Lovely. Okay, this is it, it's done. It takes an hour, an hour in the oven to make this, which is a long time to be baking oats for. Um, and it's really freaking heavy, like really heavy. Like this would go straight through this double glazed window here. No worries, but it looks all right. Still nice and warm. Um, and yeah, the proof's in the pudding. Let's taste it and see what it's like. We are living in, well, I don't know. I don't know. How could I know what lies ahead of me? Am I part of a grander master plan? Okay, so let's give this a bite. Mmm. 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 Interesting. Um, sort of looks like bread. Doesn't taste like bread as much. Maybe really thick, dense bread. You know, like German sort of rye bread or something like that. Um, because it's oats, and it's really, obviously oats absorb all the water and the super dense. My view, but it's really nice actually. Um, it's warm still, butter on vegan butter on top. Um, tastes healthy as well, full of fiber. Um, yeah, that's actually really nice. I do, I do really like that. Will I make it again? I don't know. Takes an hour to burn, to takes an hour in the oven, so that is a little bit off putting. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. My part of a grand and my part